I have devoted many years, decades really, of my career to uh, trying to uh, figure out the puzzle of violence in American history and in American culture. And it's really been a, a, a kind of long odyssey. Um, and I think that what really excites me about the study of violence, I mean, it already sounds, I said, you know, my, my family teases me, um, you know, when a really violent movie comes out, they'll say, hey, Dad, you know, there's been a really great, <laughs> really violent movie that we think you'll like. So to be a student of violence in American culture and American history, I think is so you know, tantalizing, exciting, rewarding, because we tend to see the violent events that I study, like the American Civil War, as a sideshow, uh, an important one, but kind of a, um, uh, an excursion away from the norm that America is the land of the Constitution, the Declaration of Independence, it's the land of peaceful democracy, long-term democracy, and I think it just um, shocks us, disturbs us to really consider the possibility that violence and violence like the Civil War, violence like the violence of American slavery is foundational, that it's not some tragic flaw, it's not some sort of, uh, you know, bloody and, and, and tantalizing step away from our business as usual as democracy, but in fact it's joined at the hip with American freedom. So all of the, the things that we celebrate, de democratic culture, American freedom, have a kind of deep um, joined at the hip relationship with unfreedom, uh, exploitation, race, which is very much at the heart of my interests, and violence.